Have you ever thought of playing a game where you could just explore the world with your friends, craft yourself a cozy cabin, farm and just spend some peaceful time without worrying about anything? Boy have I got a game for you then. I actually found out about this game myself a couple days ago from me recording this voiceover for this video. This game called Palia. Weird name but okay. Now before we start, let me just confess, I'm not much of a crafter. I never like crafting and gathering in video games, so I did go into this game already with a raised eyebrow, knowing there's no PvE, so what's gonna be so exciting about this? Well, let's see if my opinion changed by the end of my 8 hour session. So the game starts with me just poofing into existence and then told by this nice lady that humans don't rule earth no more. Something happened and now these guys are everywhere and the humans are just spawning here and there out of nowhere without any memory it seems. And there are also dragons. But we're not worried about our past life nor about humanity so we were told to visit the closest town. Which is also the only town in the game and meet an old guy who will help us with our accommodation. Which means he's just gonna give us a land in the middle of a jungle to make it habitable. So yeah, you get your housing plot almost immediately and every player has their own instance so there is no worry of running out of space. And even though humans are rare, they have been spawning quite a lot referring to other players so the people in the town aka NPCs are not that surprised. And they welcome me with open heart. Anyway, back to the housing, this is very handsome. Dude told me to clean the spot so I can start making it habitable. So I did what any sane person would do and cut down every single tree and take out all the rocks. Except these two trees cause I needed better axe. Fair I guess it gives me something to work towards. But while I was on my mission no trees I got a surprise visit by this little dude who told me about males. So yeah this game got males. But it's mostly used for by NPCs to tell you that they have new stuff for you. Which we will get in a bit. So I was also told about the farmer and I was on my way to visit the farmer. And while I was on my way to visit the farmer to learn about farming, I jumped into a pond and found out this game doesn't have swimming nor underwater mechanics. Yet, remember this game is still in beta. I probably forgot to mention that at the start of the video, so here you go. And the NPCs seems to have a daily path they follow. They wake up, they go to their workplace, take a break, then go to sleep or underground black market, which I'll find in a bit. Which seems very smart AI and uh, it makes the town feels more alive to me. So even though I had a plot, I still needed permission to make a house. So I went to the richest dude in the town and asked his permission. Of course, humans, not humans. You shall only do what the rich tells you to do. So after taking his permission, when I returned home, I got a surprise visit from Mr. Farmer who was here to teach me about farming. He gifted me some soil and his beloved hoe. It's my hoe now. <laughs> Kill me. Anywho, after that, I placed my housing plan which told me I still need items to collect to finish the house. 
Again, house won't be made out of nothing now, will it? Then I visited some other NPCs to get recipes for more crafting items and gather the wood and stone needed for the house. While I was out hunting, however, the game suddenly decided to have an existential crisis. So after escaping the disaster, finally handed over all the necessary items for the house, which gave me an 8 hour time. Well, guess I'll go ahead and progress the story of this game. Uh, yeah, this game has a story and lore. I solved some word puzzle to open a ruin and found a huge cliff, for which I needed a glider to explore, so I was told to find this little guy who experiments with glider. So he might be able to help me, and what do you know, he can. He just needs some more stuff for him to craft me a glider. So back to gathering, I guess. Oh, I should tell you about focus. Now, you don't have a hunger meter in this game, which is a good thing. But you do have something called focus, which you can get from eating food, which gives you 30% experience bonus. So you do want your focus on whenever you're doing basically anything. And you can increase the amount of experience you get from your focus by turning in renown to this dragon statue. You get renowned points from literally doing anything. So more back and forth figuring out what I items I needed and crafting and gathering them. After getting the glider done, I went back to the scholar lady to explore the newfound ruin. Now I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I don't like reading. So I ignored mostly of what she said or was it written in on the ruins. Just enough to finish the puzzle and I have to say, first puzzle, it wasn't hard, it wasn't too basic for me at the very least, and it felt just the right amount of difficulty for first puzzle of the game. After finishing the ruin, I got some good stuff. Some of them can be sold for a good amount of gold, some will be and some will progress the story, and some are just simple crafting materials. So when I got back, I was told to meet the scholar lady again at a different place. But on my way, I decided to do some fishing, and I found out fishing is kinda interesting in this game. It's not just click at the right time. There's even more fun mini game. You have to move your mouse left and right while pulling the fish toward you, otherwise it will run away. I genuinely find this fishing more fun than any other fishing I've done in any other game so far. Anyway, after getting to my quest objective, we found a mysterious device that requires fish and bugs to unlock.
a vault that opens when you put more stuff into it. <laughs> been so weird. Tell me about it, Gina. Tell me about it. Well, for now, I assumed I'll have to collect stuff, which I do, but I'll get another quest really soon. For now, though, I'll start progressing my tools and collecting my new recipes. I also found how to increase my inventory, which is which was convenient. I was getting annoyed by my little inventory space anyway. While I was getting ready to upgrade iron and returning this robot's dead friend's leg, I was really getting into hunting. I mean, just look at these shots. I also found this underground black market which had some mini game and this game's version of up I guess eh. and some NPCs pop up at night time with rare recipes I assume which I mentioned earlier I'm mentioning again because I wrote it twice ignore that bad take cut it so I did a bit more story, explored another ruin, fixed keys and got ready to get to iron tools while waiting for my house to be done. And finally after 8 hours my house was done. I don't lie, I was not expecting to hit over a couple hours with this game but somehow I made it above 8 hours. Now while working on the script I made it to iron tools and I'll probably keep playing. I don't know if this was just me who didn't hear about this game or if there's a chance there are others out there this video is exactly for them. I never thought a crafting gathering focus game can be fun to play and it's a lot relaxing in its own way. So if you're someone who likes this aspect of games, please make sure to give it a try. It's not and it's not a paid advertisement. Let me be clear. I'm just really enjoying playing the game and will probably go finish rest of whatever there is out there. This game is still in beta so more fun stuff will probably come soon. So yeah, I just wanted to share my Pally experience and let people know that this game exists and you should definitely give it a try. While you are watching this, I'm probably live on Twitch streaming and chilling so come hang out there. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and sub to the channel for more awesome content and I will see you guys next time. Until then, keep farming farmers.